Good afternoon, everyone. Hey, guys, this is Bruce Marshall from Simpler Trading with the nightly market update for Wednesday, January the 25th. So happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. Hope your week is going great. Hope your trading is going well. Um, this I've got charts up here. I've got the NASDAQ over here on the left. I've got the Russell 2000 here. And then this is the ES or the uh, or the ES and or the SPX, whichever you want to look at. But uh, but I use the ES for trade purposes or, or charting purposes because we get overnight data on the ES and we do not on the SPX. But um, a crazy day, another crazy day. Let me take this down right here. And this in the black is the trading day today. This is the overnight session here from last night. And as you can see, yesterday, um, you know, after the close here yesterday, we dropped and we just kept dropping, dropping, dropping. And then at the open, we dropped. And this was, you know, this was some pretty, uh, this was pretty good selling down here. We did find a foothold down there at 39.63. Uh, and I had levels down there. Um, I use uh, fib levels and I use voodoo lines and that type thing so I did have some support down there and it did hold um, to be fair I had other levels here that did not hold so this was kind of a sketchy trade today um, I was trying to get long for a bounce and I couldn't get in here 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 um, and then we bounced and once we took that out I just I said you know what uh, this thing looks pretty weak because you know I thought we'd bounce up here and continue this trend down and we did not we bounced um, again unfortunately I missed I missed entries on about three or four different places here in trades but that's okay you know you live to fight another day uh, but big run here all day long and here's the crazy thing so from the bottom to the top up here it's about 76 77 points uh, top to bottom Big move, you know, it's a pretty good size move on the ES uh, for one day. If you look at the expected move on a daily basis, it's maybe 22, 23, 24 points, something like that. Maybe a little bit more, but uh, but we're going, you know, 2x, 3x the, those expected moves, um, kind of on a regular basis now, which is a little, it's a little cool and it's a little scary and it's a little mind-boggling all at the same time, uh, trying to trade it but uh but that's the reality that we've got you know going on right now so let's let me back this out here a little bit and you'll see you know the violent swings you know everything looks great here until we get this big giant flush down and then everything's looking bad here and you would think you know maybe if you can't if you're looking at this chart and you think we came up here here's our voodoo snow line we came up here failed off that tried again failed so you know one of two things happens here it either fails and we go down to lower lows or we clear it and in this case we cleared it just you know insane move up overnight pause 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 rip 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 you know and now we're coming straight back down and now we're ripping back up so um very very again very very tough to trade except on very small time frames uh let's go there's a 20-day chart again wild swings you know up and down in both directions but let's take this out and I'm going to stick with the ES here because that kind of gives us the best um, representation of the market and what you'll see is this you know this downtrend is still uh, in my opinion is still intact and you know this um, we're running back up into this and I thought we might go back up here to that red line is a voodoo fire line. I thought we might get up there and fail, but um, but I think we ultimately, you know, this kind of continues to go down, I think. Now, that being said, uh, we have, uh, we're right in the middle of earnings season. We just had Tesla today, and I, I just briefly looked at it before I started this video, and we got an initial pop, and then it came back down, and it looks kind of like a non-event, honestly, so far. I don't know that the conference call has been done yet, but um, but anyway, you know, kind of the same thing. Microsoft's um, good report, I think, but not so good guidance, and I think that's what we'll see more and more um, coming out is the economy's, you know, 
we're facing headwinds and inflation and all that kind of stuff, you know, we'll start seeing that more and more. And again, we're about halfway through earnings season right now. We'll see a lot more next week, uh, even the next couple of days. But um, next week we've got Amazon, Apple, Google, you know, next week. So um, that's the immediate things right in front of us. And then we have um, – Next Wednesday, we've got Fed meetings. So the Fed is going to tell us what they're going to do. Are they going to raise rates and how much and all that kind of stuff? And that'll give us a lot more clarity. So uh, at that point, we might see, you know, a a break and a move higher here. Uh, even if we do get that, uh, I think it'll be short-lived and we probably come back down here because uh, I don't think we got follow-through with that unless the Fed is just overly dovish and says, um, you know, we're done with our rate hikes and all that kind of stuff. Now, the tricky part is the market uh, will anticipate the pivot point and the turn in the interest rate hike cycle and all that kind of stuff, um, you know, way out in advance, six months, nine months out in advance. And, you know, maybe, you know, trying to look for the light at the end of the tunnel kind of thing. And maybe we get some hint of that. And, uh, you know, and maybe that does start to turn us up to the upside here but I just don't think we're there yet so uh, I'm still continuing to play it very um, you know very short term oriented and, and very careful here not a lot of positions um, you know and just managing those trades very 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 closely we're not in the market we were in a couple of years ago this is not you know this is not the buy the dip kind of market this is the protect your principal kind of market um it's good from a trading standpoint i mean you know we're we're actually doing good trading it and last year was actually pretty good from a trading standpoint but um but it's tough it's a lot tougher than it has been you know for for a year for the last couple of years at least uh so anyway don't uh don't mortgage the house and put all your money in this market because you think it's at the bottom because i don't think it is so uh and we'll you know we'll know as we get more data points out and as we see what the fed says and kind of interpret um you know what they're going to do and all that kind of stuff and and then we look forward to the next big data point which is on february the 14th i believe next cpi you know etc so it you know we'll, we'll continue to keep looking down the road at the next data points um and this thing will turn at some point but i don't think we're there yet so trade uh trade carefully trade small size do do you know extra management on your trades and don't let things don't let profits get away and also you know protect your loss on the downside you know stop loss and tight stops and that kind of thing and if you need help come in the trading rooms with us at simpler um i'm in the main room off and on during the week i have a separate side room called bias that i manage uh jump in there with me and uh, we do trades all the time so uh, with that, let me wind it up. Um, again, stay safe. Um, limit your risk on your trades, and uh, and get in there and trade it because it's you know it's a it is a tradable market, but just be careful. So have a great rest of the day, and I'll see you guys at the next update. Take care. Without simpler trading, I could not have financial independence. This is one of the best investments that I ever made in my life. It's helping me find consistency. It's one of the things that won me.